Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my painting videos. Today we're going to be painting the Ice Lord. We're going to be painting the helmet and the, the chin and the neck. We won't be actually painting the, the body because the colours are going to be fairly similar, uh, if not a little bit more basic. So, without further ado, let's get painting. These are the colours that I'll be using in today's video. So, if you want to follow this tutorial, head over to eBay, which is where I recommend picking these up, and uh, add them to your basket. So we're going to start off with the dark green, also known as medium olive, by model colour. And I'm going to just apply that to the helmet, and I'm also going to apply it to the skin flesh, fleshy part underneath the helmet. Because it will be a nice base coat, it will dry a lot darker than this. And then we can work from there. So coat the entire piece in this colour. Now the paint has dried a little bit too light, which uh, I was a little bit surprised about. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black to the paint to darken it down and give it another coat. This is the newly mixed green with a hint of black. As you can see, it's a slightly darker green. It still might be a little bit too light. I'll decide once it's dried. And once that's uh, been left to dry or dried with a hairdryer, following up with also the armour parts in the same green, that's what they'll look like. Now, we're going to want to focus on the fleshy part first I feel like because if you do the helmet and then you sort of I'd like to do that first so anyway that is still the lighter green which is it's fine all we're gonna do for that is we're gonna do a traditional wash method which if you followed my videos before you'll know exactly what it is it's uh, how I did a lot of the uh, other details on the other monster heads so with this method we take a citadel wash a brown wash and we're going to wash it onto the flesh of the ice lord all we do is we take a blob of the wash and we blob it on and let it fall into all the crevices all the folds in the skin and it's a nice quick and easy finishing method if you're not a very confident painter. I'm not the best of painters, I must admit, so these washes work wonders for me. So that's the wash on and that's going to fall into place and uh, it'll look great once it's dry. Uh, before I do dry it, I just want to say Again, if you're not the most confident painters, I mean, this is this is looking great already. So if you just want to paint the eyes red, and uh, I think that's pretty much pretty awesome. So, yeah, don't worry if you're not the most confident. However, if you are feeling confident, let's carry on with the uh, tutorial. Now, once the wash has dried, I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but um, it looks great. That's all you really need to do for that part. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the rest of the helmet. This is the Monster of Peladon Eye Sword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original green, the olive green that I used, which was a little bit too light, and I'm now going to sort of add that that, that light green versus dark green kind of pattern that it has on the helmet. It's a, it's a nice, it's actually a metallic, I think. But um, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm just going to stipple areas on the helmet with the brush. And I think they sort of went up in this sort of upwards motion rather than from left to right. 
and by stippling it you get that sort of that roughness on the edges um, almost like a watermelon I guess it has that sort of yeah like a kind of shredded green You can kind of see how it's coming together. It's looking quite uh, accurate, actually. And there's no right or wrong with the brush. Might need a little bit more green on the brush. There you go. So the more paint you have on your brush, you're going to have to be a little bit more delicate at the start. You want it to look quite natural and random, rather than... So, it uh, doesn't do the brush any good, that I must admit. So make sure you maybe use an old brush, unlike me, who's using a fairly new one, but... Yeah, there we go. That I'm quite happy with. Um, yeah, really happy with that. That's fairly straightforward. Uh, we'll move now on to the eyes. So, here we go. We're now going to paint the the eyes with like a, a really dark red. I say eyes. They're actually just the, the helmet lenses. be a bit tricky but uh, as the helmet does have a uh, have them kind of outlined it sure does make it a little bit easier you're gonna want to give that two coats and repeat it on the other side and then uh, we'll see where we're at so, I finished painting the eyes, I've added a slightly darker red around the lens just to give it uh, a little bit more depth. Now, I think I'm going to finish this guy up and uh, give him a varnish on the helmet because the armour they he wore was quite shiny in the episode, so the lenses are also shiny, so it will just pretty much be coating the entire helmet. I'm not sure if the chest armour has this pattern. I don't have a reference to hand, but I'll check in a second. And it turns out that I think it does have that lighter effect going on. So just for the sake of this, I'm just going to add a little bit on here. Even if it turns out that I'm wrong and it doesn't, because I'm not totally sure, then this will be my own bit of creative license. So I'm just going to cover this like that and then varnish it. Now I'm going to finish up and uh, varnish the helmet. I am aware that after looking at pictures, I've probably not done it the right colour of green, unfortunately. It does look a little bit darker in person, however, it, it's not as accurate as I thought it would be. Oh, actually, once I've added this varnish, it might uh, actually make it a little bit darker. So uh, this might work a treat. However, it's not something I'm too fussed about. If you are going for the monster of Peladon, look then the only thing I could say is to maybe just add a little bit more black to your green and, and maybe a bit of brown because the green is quite 
I'm not sure what kind of green it is actually. It's, I think it's got a hue of blue maybe in it. It's just not as sharp green as this. But this I, I'm, I'm happy enough with. So I'm just adding enamel varnish, which will protect the paint, but it will also give it a lovely shiny finish similar to the props worn by the Ice Lord in the actual episode Monster of Peladon. And there we have it. That is the varnished helmet. I uh, can't really do much. In, ah, I need some white spirit for my brush. Yes, you're going to need white spirit because water does not work on enamel. But, um, yeah. There is the helmet, and I need to varnish this part as well, but I'll do that off camera. There is the chest armor, and I'm really happy with it. I just need to now sculpt the belt, the boots, cast the claws, add the cape, and he'll be ready to hiss. So, I hope this has helped you, uh, fairly simple, and uh, I'll see you next time when uh, we've got another head to work on.